so I ended up changing it. I was thinking, I'm like, I don't know, I don't really like that GFCI behind the fridge. Um, so I automatically thought I needed GFCI just because the, the sink is right here. So within six feet, you're gonna need a GFCI. But this outlet's not really accessible. So also I started looking it up. Um, it would have to be GFCI protected if part of uh, one of the outlets on the counter. So if I had it plugged into this, it would have to be GFCI because it's part of the counter the countertop. But since this isn't really re uh, accessible, that should be fine. And I mean, really, who wants to pull out a fridge every time? But the G, I mean, those GFCIs don't really trip all the time. So I just moved it over here, loaded this, and then loaded the uh, garbage disposal. Okay, so I'm gonna put GFCI on these two. Correct. We'll trace it out. So I shut the power off. When I pull these things out. Oh, look at that. So this is a uh, BX wiring. You see the paper? Then you see the aluminum wire right here. People either cut it off, or in my case, I'm just gonna, I mean, it's a crappy ground. It's just, all that ground's supposed to do is ground the sheathing, the metal sheathing. It's a flexible conduit. It's uh, pretty much greenfield, greenfield, but it's supposed to just to ground the sheathing, but since it's here, I'm just gonna cut it. I'm gonna pigtail it, and I'm gonna put a special wire nut on it that's rated for aluminum and copper. Because why not, right? Because even if I did cut it, I'm sure it'd still be grounded. So power's off. Still, I haven't turned it back on. Ah. Uh, Get out of there. Get going. I think I see more paper. It's gonna be more BX wiring. I didn't even know this house even had BX wiring. I guess I do now. There we go. So they pigtailed it. Maybe little pigtails. And if you see it, oh, yeah, they wrapped the aluminum, the wire. They wrapped the aluminum wire together. So, what I'm thinking is, I wanna, so this is the power coming in over here. And then it goes to this one. So it's got to find the right one that goes over there. So we'll do a continuity test on this thing. So power's off. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna attach the wires right here. 
and we're gonna do a continuity test. This is the one I think we're going to the next one. So I gotta do is just make a connection, that's all. Nothing crazy. It's just good enough. And then we're gonna go to the outlet. Where I think I'm going to. Put it on. Let's put it to ohms. I'm gonna put on the, the one that beeps. So, OL, open line. So, if you look at this, should beep. What's the problem? There we go. Since I have it connected over there, go to hot. To the neutral. Let me do it again. Hot to the neutral. So there you go. So that means, so that means this is the BX going over here. So power coming in, power coming out. This can be our line, that's gonna be our load. So we're gonna put the GFCI here. And it's on a 15 amp breaker because it's sharing the living room space. So we're just gonna, well, I'm gonna put 50, I'm gonna put 15 amp receptacles on this. So I, I these things are like a million dollars. And I think the only special thing they have in it they put no locks in there, I think, and I think they probably have. It's probably tin coated, a tin coated wire nut. Stupid expensive. Stupid. Cut this. Cut our ground. Cut this out of the way. We still have uh, power off. For all that, I like ripping the paper off. Just what I like doing. I don't like anything extra in a box, especially because it can start on fire. I mean, you have an arc and spark, you got some nice paper that'll give you some Kindle. <laughs> the aluminum wire and we have to use the lumicons because you can't go uh can't go copper to aluminum so if you do that it's going to corrode then you're going to have an is issues not splicing right but whatever because the aluminum wire is so thin I'm saying it's a garbage of wire because literally it carries less current than a copper wire does so we'll say you know copper is uh we want to say copper see the nolex so 14 gauge copper wire uh, is for a 15 amp circuit, okay? So for an aluminum wire, for a 15 amp circuit, you're gonna have to use a 12 gauge aluminum wire. Okay. That's good for that.
So looking at this, they purposely offset the connections. They tightened up these. So I'm gonna purposely connect them like this. Cause that's, uh, the white's gonna be our neutral, gold's gonna be our black. This commercial, commercial uh, outlets too. These are nice. Look at that. Backstab, well, they say backstab, but it's not. You just stick the wire in the back. Okay, so ground to the box. Pigtail. And then I have my uh, outlet grounded. And then I got my hot, my neutral hooked up. Oh, I forgot to snug these up. I always like snugging them up. Even if they're not being used. Get some tape on this. So the cool thing, I had this all twisted up. The ground in there wasn't too bad, but you can just pop it right back out of that wiggle. Pop it right back out. Everything looks good. Stick it in there. You want to be careful too and obviously you want to inspect all the wires too before you're putting it back in there or actually you should have inspected before you want to be careful when you put this in with the drill you'll stab that wire if the wire is in the way i recommend putting them by hand come on Okay, looks like we gotta put some spacers in here. Come on. Okay, that's good. And then, that's good. Okay, so we're gonna ground it and ground to the box. We're gonna do the same thing with the aluminum wire. I'm gonna pick that up. Um, yep, the box is grounded pigtail to, to the uh, GFCI so I didn't uh, trim this back further I'm gonna reuse what we got because the wire is so short so this is gonna be our load this is gonna be our line here we go I did the pull test gonna tape it up Goes to this one. Okay, it's good. Trip it. Boom. Trip that back. Power there. So that's good. 